Hi guys and welcome to a very Neil Gaiman video. Today is November 10th and it's actually his birthday. So happy birthday to one of my favorite authors. And in his honor, I'm going to be doing a review of the box set that includes the graveyard book, Fortunately the Milk and Coraline that Harper just came up with. This you can buy for around 80 euros on the book depository and this is not actually my set this is my sister-in-law box set but she was kind enough to let me borrow it for a little bit so i can reread the books yes i reread all of these except fortunately with the milk it was my first time reading it but first a little bit about the set itself it's reasonably priced and it comes with the gorgeous illustrations by chris Riddell. But the box isn't sturdy enough as you can see tell her box is already getting damaged in the paperbacks and the paperbacks themselves, as gorgeous as the cover and illustrations in them are, are too floppy and not very good quality. So when I, I'm either gonna buy a set of these for myself just because of the illustration, but if you're looking for something quality-wise, I recommend picking up some other editions of these books just because, you, yeah. So since the Coraline is the first that came into my hand, yes, this is the second time I read Coraline. The first time was before Halloween last year. And this has amazing illustrations. Like this is first page. Let me find another illustration. So yeah, this one. So Coraline is a little girl that moves into this odd house with her parents. And it's the scary story that Neil Gaiman wrote for his daughters. And it's the creepiest of them all and of all of his books that I've read so far. It's probably my least favorite. It's the only one I haven't given five stars to. I think I just don't care for the creepy factor that's included in this. In this book, the little girl called Coraline. And she has, she goes into this alternate universe sort of. Where she has the same parents but they're different because they're kind of ghosts. And her other mother is particularly evil. And it's... This edition is only 190 pages, though it is very much shorter. I You could probably read this in like 3 or 4 hours. So if you're definitely going on a Neil Gaiman binge and want to read a creepy scare book for Halloween, or if you're like me and want to read all his books ever, then you should give this one a go, though. I will say again, that it's definitely not my favorite. Then the second one, his children's book, Fortunately the Milk. You could read this in less than an hour. Like, I've heard people say that they read it in 20 minutes. I don't know how that's possible, because as big as the font is, and as many as illustrations as there are, you can't re re really read this in less than an hour, unless you skim through it. The illustrations in this, there's the most illustrations. As you can see, the pages are varying. So there's, like... This and there is full page illustrations. Look, just if I could find one of these about now, yes. So, Chris Riddell, amazing job on illustrations about this one. So, what's this book about? Uh, there's a family of four, and the mother goes on the business trip and leaves the father responsible for the children. And they eat cereal in the morning, and one day there's no milk. And the dad basically goes out to buy milk, and he comes back a while later with the story of a wild adventure he had, but he managed to hold on to the milk. As you can see, there's odd, an assortment of odd creatures and stuff here, and a balloon and everything. It's a crazy adventure, but in the end, it all boils down to this. The, pair, the father came up with a story from things that are around it, or at least I think that was the point of it. I love the illustrations, and this one is definitely one I want to own, just to read it to my children in the end. All the characters, Christian Dell has illustrated all the characters, so yeah, five stars, five stars all the way, amazing job amazing job and the last book that comes into the set is my personal favorite the graveyard brook look at that cover gorgeous spine and this part as well the graveyard book is about a boy called nobody owens actually when he's a year old i think so still a baby not even a toddler yet a g guy named jack comes and kills his entire family but somehow bod as he is immediately called, ends up escaping and goes to the graveyard. And basically the ghosts in the graveyard end up taking care of him until he's about 15 years old and there are some crazy adventures involved and realize why this man called Jack killed his family and whatnot. And it's amazing and it's a book that's listed on my all-time favorite books list on Goodreads and on the blog and everywhere. Like 
there weren't as many illustrations as this one, like there's an illustration in the beginning of every chapter. And the chapter headings are also somewhat revealing as to what's going to happen in this chapter. This was uh, my second time reading this, the first time I listened to the audiobook and while reading this I could just hear Neil Gaiman's voice in my head just reading this out loud to me and I love that fact. This book is definitely still a favorite though, I think I will end up getting another edition because yeah, as I said, yeah. So happy birthday, Neil Gaiman. Um, yeah, I did a uh, fall team photo shoots of these books in my parents' backyard. So I'll try to insert some pictures here while I'll ed whilst I'm editing this or I'll make one of them the thumbnail of this video. I'll see. So let me know if you've read any of these books, what you thought of them, what's your favorite Neil Gaiman book. He's definitely one of my favorite authors. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'd really appreciate it. Oh, and here are all the books. <laughs> Goodbye!